have a positive mindset towards them before you meet them so mm. that it's going that positive mindset is going to yeah. shape your, your character it's going yes. to shape your behavior it's going to shape the way you relate with, with them you yeah. see the way you relate with your mother hello, hello guys. guys you're welcome back to our channel yes yeah, so. yeah if you are new here you are mm -hmm. welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you are highly welcome thanks for always coming back thanks for not only tired of our videos so we love you and we appreciate you so much so how are you doing i hope you are fine so my name is tim kayo and here with me is my husband ayodele thank you <laughs> so in today's video we want to talk about meeting your in-laws for, for the, the first, first time. time meeting the in-laws for the first time and we have 10 tips to guide, to you. guide you through meeting people for the first time the first impression matters. really matters a lot, a lot. Your, encounter, your first encounter with somebody mm -hmm. The impression really matters. So in meeting your in-laws, either from the guy side or from the lady side, is kind of it's still the yeah. same because you are meeting those people for the first. Although some you might have been communicating on the phone, so but there is at least you should. I I, I believe most people will see in-laws before the wedding day. Of course. Although there are some, there are some that they get to know their in-laws on the wedding day but that's wow. an exception yes maybe someone wow. that someone that doesn't that doesn't stay in that environment okay maybe yeah. sure. but most people but it's rare yeah it's rare but most yeah. people tend to meet their in-law before the introduction or mm. before the wedding day but let me tell you you don't need to panic mm -hmm. that's what i'm going to tell you you are going to meet your people don't panic whether they are going to like you or not oh oh this is are they going to like me mm. oh what would they feel about me mm. oh did they did they would they have any fault would they have yeah. did, would they find any fault in me no when you begin to panic you are bound to make mistake yeah you no know, you, you'll be too you'll be too conscious of yourself mm. at the end of the day you, you may make mistake you may do what you suppose not to do you may say what you suppose not to say mm. because you are already panicked so you have at the back of your mind that you are going to meet your people or you are going to meet your people you are going to meet your fiance people so and also have you know that they are also your parents so yeah. when you have that in mind you are going to be more relaxed you are going to be yourself when you don't panic so the first tip that we are going to be telling you is that you should get information yes get prepared plan mm. get information from your spouse have an adequate conversation with your spouse before going mm. talk talk about your parents what are their likes what are the dislikes what are their temperaments yes yeah. It's very very important also. Yes. Uh, because um, this place of this place of uh getting information is a little bit wide. It's about mm -hmm. talking with your partner and then your partner talking with their parents. Yeah. You do you get you do you get what I'm saying now? So you talk in, with your partner in in the sense that you ask your partner what what as she has said what are the dislikes what are the likes what, what is the culture of your parents of your family and then uh probably what is the temperament because from using our, our own as an example my my dad is an extrovert my mom is a little bit introvert mm -hmm. but our own is opposite yes. so <laughs> our dad is an introvert and my mom is an extrovert. extrovert so uh, if she comes to our own house and then my mom is not talking to her like vibing with her very much mm -hmm. like that you should not think that oh probably she's not too welcome yeah so i told him before he came that mm -hmm. 
my dad is an introvert mm-hmm. my mom is an extrovert so don't feel summer since you are my dad's assistant in tuturu and he's not saying anything <laughs> <laughs> because even for me we can be in the house and not talking you know mm. he just is is a man of few words he doesn't talk 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 like that mm. compared to my mom that he talks mm. <laughs> she <laughs> talks she's 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 fun to be with you no know? yeah this yeah. this even Very even if likely. even if he's even if even if he's calling Mm. Even daddy calls me, hello. Uh, Less than a minute. What Everything minute is done. Then? It's, it's not even <laughs> up to a minute. Hello, how are you? When I was in school then, hello, how are you? How are you studies? Mm. Take care of yourself. I think that is all. Mm. Like, that is very simple. There's no, there's no conversation like, oh, okay, how is like talking mm. extensively. Mm-hmm. So compared to my mom that we talk at least once in a day. Like then, <laughs> before I got married. So even now, she still, she still calls me every day. Compared to my dad, that will not speak for a month. Mm. So they are different. So if he, as I already explained to him, so that if my dad is not talking, it won't be as if he has something against him, mm. or maybe he's not happy with him, or he does not like him. But that is his nature. So. And and you know when you came, yeah, my mom, they rode so easily. Mm. They were and he too. It's also, it's also like it's not it's not really an extrovert, and you know you're in between. When yes. you want to talk, you talk. When you don't want to talk, you keep quiet. Mm. So, but I told you also to to roll with her because she's an extrovert. So try to Mingo try to her. adjust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Try to adjust with her, and you know. He has really, really adjusted that even when they are, even when they are communicating on phone, she will always make my mom to be laughing. <laughs> she always make my mom to be laughing every time, like just full of jokes and all. So that's just it. You have to help your partner. You mm. have to ask questions. Yeah. Like you know that you know you, you know your mom perspective. Your you know your dad perspective you about things. About things. Maybe mm-hmm. seeing a lady. Maybe your mom will just see a lady and be like, look at this girl. She doesn't even have home train. Yes. Look at how she dresses. You already know that. You already know that your mom does not like, like this type of dress. This type of dressing. Your mom does not like mm. this kind of thing. So don't shoot yourself. Yeah. Tell your partner. This is what my mom like. This is what she does not like. Yes, for the sake of that meeting. For the sake least. of yeah, for the sake of because that it's, meeting. It's, it's like first a damn impression. A damn examination that you yes. must. Yes. And that's like, that's why people are always you anxious and people are always, you know. Yes. Kind of, they don't know what they are going to expect because that mm-hmm. is the first time. Yeah. So one of the easiest thing is for you to be informed yeah, about the family. Well informed, yeah. Very, very informed about the family. Mm. This will lead us to our next point. Mm. Everything is about mindset. Have a positive mindset. You know, there are some ladies that they already have the notion that um their in-law is a witch, their mother-in-law is a witch, mm-hmm. or their family member. Uh, don't worry, you are going to live in isolation. By the time you get married, you fly. You, you, you don't want to have anything to do with any family member, mm-hmm. which is not too good. Do you get what I'm saying now? You should not prejudge or preassume anything. You should be positive-minded yes, concerning your same. in-laws. Do you get me now? You should be positive minded. You should not carry the knowledge information from Nollywood, mm-hmm. from social media to your personal relationship. The way, the way Nollywood used to portray it, I think there is no good mother in law. Yeah. <laughs> if it's mother in law in Nollywood, they always commit they always commit this as yes, yes. that's what Nollywood portrays and it is not always like that. Yeah, so so you should be positive minded yeah. the positive in, in the sense that you should know that the person that you are meeting is a human do you get me now mm-hmm. she's also someone yeah. and she's the probably she's probably uh, she's the what's it called now she's the mother of your fiance yes do you get what i'm saying now she's the mother of your fiance and uh she doesn't want any bad thing to happen to a husband, I mean, to her son, rather. 
to our son. Do you get what I'm saying now? So you should know that they they want peace for you and they want peace for your family. So knowing that you will be able to have a positive mindset towards your first uh, meeting. meeting. So let, let me let me ask you what you said about this um, positive mindset. You know, you when you have the mindset mm-hmm. that this is your mother, the mindset that you have is going to shape things mm. the way you relate to them. Yes. So if you have the mindset that that maybe they are not going to be good people, you have the mindset before. That mm-hmm. you don't want to have anything to do with your mother in law. Yeah. So even if she's doing things out of, like if she's doing um, her things normally, and yeah. or you would give interpretations, wrong interpretations, you give wrong interpretations to you because mm-hmm. of your mindset already. Mm-hmm. Because of what you have perceived. Are they? Is it perceived? Yes, yes. Because of your perception about relationship between mother in law and mm-hmm. daughter in law. The same thing goes to. The guy also so having a positive mindset is also going to help you a lot it's going to mm. help a lot just even when you even with that now if you didn't meet what you expect like mm. if it's the opposite that maybe they are just aggressive you no know? maybe they uh, over maybe they're over protecting their son and you see that if you want to steal their son but because of the mindset that you have like mm. you already had it that no mm. matter what i will love you no yeah. matter what, you are my mother. So there is nothing that you can do about it. So it's going to reduce the way you are, it's like the way you are angry or. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's going to reduce it to some extent. So have a positive mindset towards them before you meet them. So mm. that it's going, that positive mindset is going to yeah. shape your, your character, it's going yes. to shape your behavior. Going to shape it the way you relate with, with them. You yeah. see the way you relate with your mother. So you just you do the hair. So that's it. Our next point is don't go empty handed. Yeah. Please buy something. Buy gifts. Yeah. Before before we we, we saw them, we we mentioned in our first point that you should ask questions. So before you get anything. Try to ask your spouse what their what and what his parents like. Ask the lady what does her parents like, so that you won't buy what they won't appreciate. Yeah. Try to ask questions. Try to ask what does the mother like, what does the father like, what does your siblings what do they like. Yeah. So don't go empty-handed. Yeah. Buy something. No, I don't. I don't even know how people do it. Even apart from visiting your mother alone at all, you are going to somebody else's house. And empty you and they out. can't buy just buy something yeah it's 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 a very good point i don't you need to break to, your bank because you yes, want to yes, buy yes. something for them as, as a guy when you are going to um your in-laws house at least why well, you can just get a bottle of wine yes get get information concerning our family if they are uh, if she has maybe two or three siblings and mm-hmm. you can just get some simple, simple things, and that's all. It's just See, as, for you as to. As little as gifts, eh? yes. you know, you know, when when we were growing up, I used mm. like any any store that we have that buys gifts for that that comes with gifts. We welcome the visitor more yeah. than the store that comes empty-handed. That's mm. <laughs> that's it. Because even those things attract naturally especially yes. for the siblings yes. so that our sister is coming she's definitely going to get something for Your us gift so, save way for you. yes exactly so mm. they, they will even be anxious like even next time we are coming they will be anxious to see because yes. they know that you are going to get something for them so imagine you coming empty and then you know siblings they can be very very fun they'll be like ah, ah this this um, brother he's so stingy you can't shock, go shock and to tell me eh, Oh, you can't even buy anything mm. for us. Look at this sister. She can't even buy ordinary, ordinary bundle. She can't even buy it for us. Yeah. So don't go empty handed. And you don't like simple, simple thing you can buy even if there is no money. Mm. But just make sure, even if it's fruit, if it's banana, yes. Yes. anything you are capable of buying, watermelon, mm. apple, no, 
buy sugar. And if they have the money, buy provisions, buy clothes. Mm -hmm. Like just buy something. Yeah. Don't go empty and dead. Little thing. Matters Try to a lot. get it. Yes, yeah. matters a lot. Yeah. So our next point is be respectful. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Be respectful. Oh, the woman. Oh my mic is here. They will hear. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my lips. Be respectful. The mic is here. Eh? The mic is here. No worry. My voice is also loud. And okay. the mic can also cash anytime, so don't worry. Okay. Especially our African parents, they don't joke with respect. Yeah. You know, I remember I remember when you have a family family function and I attended the function. So you, you remember you know you introduced a a, a woman to me mm -hmm. and told me that the woman is this, that, that. So I read him. I, I so anytime I see the woman, I will know how to greet her. So fortunately for me, I greeted this woman well with my two nails on the ground. I greeted her well, and lo and behold, my husband wanted to greet her. My yeah, husband I just did like halfway. this, just <laughs> pointed halfway. The woman was like, "Eh, are you greeting me like that? Look at all your wife greeted me. See, I don't say." The woman was like, you have not greeted me that. For a lady, you must kneel down, like, your two, your two, um, nails must, your two nails must touch the ground, and for the guy, your hand must touch the ground. That is the way she has said greeting mm. from younger person. Imagine me now doing a call and greeting her anyhow. Mm. Maybe I'm greeting her because, okay, Anyway, she's not my mother in law. Let me just greet her. I don't know how she, I don't know what will have happened that day. <laughs> because the way she, she talks to my husband, no, no, no. He has to force it back. And mm. the man said further that she liked the way I greeted her. That mm. if I, I hadn't greeted her well, that she would have talked, she would have corrected me. Mm. So, and please, ladies, even if um for our parents they don't mind for some parents they don't mind me i don't really need them to touch my grand but for my in-laws i make sure that i knew down well and mm. even even my, my grandma too hey you can't get her in here today i tried it with my grandma that i get her that halfway she knew down let your leg touch the ground i think you need to start uh, incorporating that culture right is our culture, is it? Yeah, it's our culture. It's our culture. So what I want to say is that greet well. Yes. Especially if it's your back culture. You know your back culture, the, our mothers appreciate you kneeling down. And one thing is that when, when you are visiting your inner for the first time, all eyes are on you. Mm. <laughs> all eyes are on you. Especially if especially we ladies, all eyes are on us. So every move is being is being tracked <laughs> knowingly or unknowingly <laughs> every move is being tracked so make sure you greet well don't don't form even if you don't even if you don't know how to kneel down like for your knees to touch the ground just try to do it you're not you're not going to be doing it every day so yes, just for that just for that, move. just for that moment just try to humble yourself and kneel down properly to greet and for the guys to try to prostrate well, mm. try to prostrate well, at least to avoid wala, yes. to avoid greeting wala, and no greeting is also part of first yes. impression. Yes. Simple, simple thing that you can avoid. Just avoid it. Just avoid it. The fifth point is dress properly, dress mm -hmm. responsibly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this this goes to. Uh, Yes, very very important to the ladies, and also important to the guys. To the guys, okay. <laughs> at least you should not. For the guys, you should not dress like a rat guy. Mm -hmm. Not wearing window. crazy jeans. Yes, yes. At to least dress jeans. moderately. Mm -hmm. You should ask your um, just like you have said in the first point. Get get information 
ask your friends that oh who are my who are my mother in laws or or parents in laws mm -hmm. okay what do they like which which kind of dress if I mm -hmm. come to your house with uh suits mm -hmm. how, how 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 is it going to look do you get me now okay what is the best dress for me to come to your house do you get me now okay if i should come with sneakers won't they feel like ah this guy is a yahoo boy mm -hmm. do you understand what i'm saying now i so, mean uh, maybe the parents maybe anytime they see mm -hmm. a particular dressing okay they will just tag they will just tag the guy mm -hmm. and so 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 person maybe something that is not really nice yes. and your oh. your guy now dressing that same kind of dressing that your parents put do them on them okay. yes your your hairstyle everything mm -hmm. from your hair to your toe your hair, your nails you get to now 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 <laughs> now going to the lady see let me, before you before you before you move uh, before you go further like me i know that one of those my mommy used to check in the guy his fingernails <laughs> your fingernails your teeth your hair oh, no 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 it was, and it's even if she wants to buy, even if she wants to buy something from someone, mm. she will check the fingernails, she will shed everything from from head to toe. Mm. So I know that he's a neat guy, but I still have to tell him mm. that, oh boy, your nails must be neat. Although it's my husband that I know that his nails is always neat without cutting. <laughs> I still don't, I know that I still don't know the mystery behind it. They I've never worry, seen, they can't, they can't. I've never seen blades. But his nails always neat. His leg is always neat. I've never caught him eating his nails before. Mm. So I pray that God is, is going to open my eyes to the mystery no, behind you it. You don't need to. So, <laughs> you don't need to see it. I don't need to see it. Whatever. <laughs> so I told him that his nails, teeth, mm. like he must be very neat. And that's what I know that my mom checks for in the mm. guy. She, she, she loves she loves neatness. So I, very, I, I informed him about that, so that. Yes. And so for for the ladies, you should also ask your your brother that okay, mm -hmm. uh, is trousers acceptable in your family? If you are the person that wears trousers a lot, you get it now. Okay, is uh you know all those all different kind of dressing maybe mm -hmm. uh a kind of Hair style, mm -hmm. do you get me now? Is it acceptable mm -hmm. in your family so that you can know how to manipulate the rest of the things you have? You're going to your in laws' house and you are wearing clothes that is within your boots, yeah. So it's not right. How do you want them to see you? Mm. So it's not, it's not, it's not right. So please dress properly. So, so you, you, you need to mind that at least. You need to mind that. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So because the first just like you have said before the first impression matters a lot yeah. so that you won't start uh resolving issues from the beginning yeah when yeah. my dear when the relationship has not started at all so no. but at this point is that comport yourself mm. this um under this point it has branches <laughs> okay so I want to talk. I want, I want to start with food. Yes, eating, eating. I know that you can eat plenty of food. I know that you can finish a whole bowl of rice. But please, when you go to your in-laws' house, don't finish their food. Don't finish their food. <laughs> no, yes, yes. Don't finish the food. Especially for guys, no. They're going to package the food. I mean, like Very put well. like three or four meats. Mm. And you finish the whole food, you finish the pan and the ham. You don't even know maybe they are testing you. Adieu. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know maybe they are testing you. So you finish the whole food and you finish your meat. Mm. Please don't eat everything. Mm. Don't eat everything. And apart from that, too, don't ask for more. Say, ah, mommy, please, <laughs> ah, this food there, no do. <laughs> Can I see more? Can you me to put more? Because because you are you are trying to feel at home. Yeah, hey, so, yeah, that's <laughs> because you are trying to feel at home. 
does not uh, mean that you don't comfort yourself. Yeah, yeah. Please eat moderately eat and moderately. don't ask for more. Even mm. though the food is delicious, the food is, is yummy, but try to be disciplined. Yes, no matter how hungry you are. No matter how hungry you are. Just, just, just try to, to comfort yourself. By the time you guys finish, you can take your uh, fiancé and eat tree and go and eat anything. Exactly. Exactly. Now, so another thing, another thing about that, about that food also is like, okay, please, if you know that you are not feeling fine. Mm. Don't bother to visit at that time. Mm. Maybe you're having the particular things that that is changing your mood, maybe like hormonal changes and no for human and all that. You know what I mean? Please don't go. Mm. Because you won't be explaining that this is what this is what yes, happened. They, they so might not means, believe. <laughs> they might not believe you. So it's, now let, let us now talk about like it's also that food too. So don't form. Don't tell them that you are not eating. Mm. Don't tell them that you are fasting. Mm-hmm. Eat, eat it. Yeah. Now this is where the balance is. For someone like me that don't like pepper. Yes. Before. <laughs> before I got married, I, I don't like pepper at all. Like, and my family, we don't use a uh, rodo. Yeah, they call this uh, is rodo. Yeah. So we don't use it at all. So I don't like pepper. So for me going to my visit my in-laws and they eat pepper. What should I do? Yeah, you have to at least communicate with your brother beforehand that uh, at least you can't miss their food. So you have to communicate with him that okay, by the time they are cooking, you know, we don't like pepper, so that they can make adjustments. Those are mm. uh, those are part. This, this is also part of the first information yeah. that you must get information and also give information. Yeah. So the, way, the way you are the way you are asking questions mm-hmm. from your spouse, your spouse to uh, your spouse also must communicate, communicate with with his parents or with her parents. Oh, yes. my partner does not like pepper. Mom, please can you try to reduce the pepper? The pepper? Yes. You know, so that and you know, okay, you also know that your spouse is allergic to so, a particular so. kind of food. Please communicate to your parents, to your mother rather. Yeah. So that know that they used to say to your bad that ah, i can fit to do caro yes. so when you when you when you know that you are allergic to that kind of food and because you don't want to reject it you mm-hmm. eat the food and maybe you start vomiting or you develop a uh, stomach ache mm-hmm. you know it should be somehow it should be as though maybe the food they prepared for you is irritating, is irritating you. you or something so like it, the guy is in the best position to communicate with, with the parents with the with the mother that oh she before that time before that time so they will be repaired okay yeah. i remember when i came to your friend mommy was asking that hope it's not baby and i was like no i didn't know that they put it in there i didn't know that you stole them yeah i don't know yeah i didn't know that you already told them so i know that she was asking that that hope it does hope it's not baby and i was like ah, no, no no it's not baby at all so i think that's how it should be so that i will not be eating i'll be like oh. <laughs> <laughs> but now I eat pepper now, but not like too much. But it is better, it's very, very yeah, better. Sure. I've adjusted, I've adjusted sure, the good. way I eat pepper. Like I eat pepper now, I buy rodo a lot now. In fact, I even you before that, like, I don't put rodo in my vegetable. I put, I, I cook my vegetable with more of rodo now Thank compared you. before that. Like, I don't eat it at all. I right, still don't have comforting yourself. Don't be too quiet, yeah. don't be too excessive. Mm-hmm. Even if you are an introvert, you need to engage them. Probably engage his siblings, engage mm-hmm. his parents for some topic. There, there will always be a topic to discuss. Yes. Still, on the comforting yourself, you need to respect your partner. Don't just call your partner anyhow mm-hmm. in, the, in the face of, uh, the, parents. of the parents. And you just to, respect. You just respect, respect your partner yeah. and no <laughs> and this uh, appearance they notice these little things don't be touchy touchy in front mm. of them and then mm-hmm. just comport yourself yeah. so finally we come to the end of today's mm-hmm. video thanks for waiting to the end of the video now i think we should do giveaway yes. for people that stay to the end of the video 
So for the first five people, for the first five people, that can message us on our Instagram. Okay. So the link is in the comment box. So message us on the on our Instagram DM. First five people that finish watching the video, so message us on Instagram. So we have a giveaway prize for you. So thank you for staying with us. Kindly subscribe. Yes, so Bye-bye.